What is up, Flick fans, and welcome back to my channel. And I finally got to sit down and watch Coco. That's right, guys. It is what you think. You are not looking at my face. What you are hearing is a voiceover. I'm going to be doing my reviews for the next couple of days a little bit differently just because I don't have any of my equipment. And I figured, uh, what's, what's the easiest way to do a review? Well, just talk and make everything else look really good. But you guys know how this works. When I do a review, I like to talk about the good, the bad, and then give you guys my score. Let's start off with the good. So yeah, cocoa is, uh, it's delicious. Hot cocoa is especially wonderful in the wintertime. Get on with the review! Okay, sorry, enough with the lame cocoa puns, uh, but I was not lying. Cocoa is wonderful. If you can put up with a few moments for kids here and there. And remember, this is a Pixar movie, so those are a given. I believe this is a new animated classic forming right before our eyes. This movie is so deep and so rich. When the movie was over, I sat and peeled back the layers in my head. The deeper meanings to certain scenes, just the way that it ended. Everything about this movie was so impressive. And the implications of watching this really affected me as a person and for that I was in awe. Okay, but how was the story? Yeah, the story was good. Uh, I have heard from a few people that there was one moment that they really saw coming and that's the big twist in the film and maybe I'm just really bad at that sort of thing but it caught me so off guard and it managed to suck me back into the movie. I have to admit I got a little distracted by the screaming children in the theater I was at. But, but did it look pretty? Oh yeah, some of the most beautiful animation that I've seen in years. Look, the Land of the Dead was so beautiful and full of color. The characters were a little cartoony, but of course that worked. And I know, I know, Austin, what about the Book of Life? Um, I have to be honest, I have never seen the Book of Life, so I can't compare the two movies. I just know how impactful Coco was and the thematic elements behind that, and uh, it was great. Hey, um, tell, tell me what I should expect from the way that the movie progressive. I, I just want to know specific details. Look, I know the trailers have not done this movie any justice. I was a little iffy about going in, uh, but from scene one, I was swept up. The kid, the young boy, he is absolutely fantastic. And all of the voice talent really was really solid. I loved the animation of Coco, the character. I will not tell you who that is in the movie before you see it, uh, but man, just, just so detailed. Well, did you have problems? Well... Of course I did. I, I have problems with every movie, but these problems are minor. Like I said, some of the moments were a little too childish for me. I can't necessarily dock the movie for that because it is a family film, but when it was deep, I wanted it to stay deep. In the second act, it gets a tad bit cliche. It becomes a let's chase this escaped boy story, and I felt a slight drag. There are one or two pieces of the story that do not tie all the way together. I mean, they may if I find out whether that character it was... Hi, no spoilers! Okay, sorry, I'll just, uh, I'll leave that complaint at that. But listen, those tiny squabbles I have with the movie are mostly personal things. They aren't flaws in the storytelling, the character development, or especially the ending. Oh yeah, <laughs> the ending. Um, it will destroy your emotions and you are not ready for how your heart is going to feel at the end of this movie, trust me. So yeah, Coco is great. Uh, we finally have a great animated movie in 2017. It took us long enough. We've had a few good, a couple of bad, but Coco really stands alone on the top of the mountain this year. Other than the Emoji movie, am I right? And with all that said, I'm going to give Coco a 91%. If you guys want to find out where this ranks amongst the Pixar greats, stay tuned to my channel because I will be counting down some Pixar films here in a few days. I also still have to release my DCEU countdown, so don't worry, that's on the way. And I finally watched one of my most anticipated movies of the year called The Florida Project. Still debating whether or not I should review it on my channel, but I did make a Stardust. If you guys aren't following me on there, check that app out. I gave my thoughts on The Florida Project, Coco, basically every movie I've watched and a lot of movies that I haven't reviewed on here, so... But enough with the plugs, you guys. Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing, watching this very random review that does not have my face. I'm sure you appreciated that. I will catch you guys later.